a good percentage of people who come into our lives they come in form of jobs they come in form of love relationships they come in form of friends they come in front of in form of colleagues they come in form of former classmate or former schoolmate they come in form of you know i was a friend to your mother i was a friend to your father i was a friend to your family some people come into our lives not to love us not to support us not to help us but absolutely in their mind they rightfully know that i'm going to use this person so every time you are getting into a new association you are getting to a new group you get into a new company you get new colleagues you get a roommate you get a friend you start a new relationship a lover you find somebody who is promising you marriage especially for women let me tell you this i know so many of us you know so many of the ladies out there wants to get married because your time you're feeling that your time is up you want to close it you want somebody who's going to take you down the aisle and tell you that i offer you my ring but along the path of getting these people there are some people who are going to come absolutely to use you they don't come to bring something into your life they come to take it because they see an opportunity in you you know there are people who will come into your life not because they are seeing you as a human being not because they are seeing you as a woman not because they are seeing your beauty that they are telling you that you are so beautiful they will come to your life not because they see the opportunities they see sorry they see the humane part of your life they will come into your life not because they see something that is important they see kindness they see honesty they see the power that you can give but because they see an opportunity perhaps they have a problem they want to solve perhaps they see money perhaps they see your beauty only and they feel like you see beautiful ladies is or a beautiful woman is one thing that I have always wanted to have some people come into our lives not to improve it not to put something into our lives but to take the little that we have managed in our lives to take the little we have built in our lives because they don't see you as a person but they see you as an opportunity You see somebody who sees you like you know if I fall in love with this woman I'm going to have kids if they are m- m- boys they will be so handsome if they are ladies they are going to be very beautiful that's not a person who loves you he's a person who sees an opportunity of having kids that are beautiful an opportunity of having boys that are handsome what if you are so beautiful but when you give birth you give birth to a a, a, a baby who is handicapped You give birth to a baby who does not resemble you but resemble him because he's ugly. Hello. A person sees you and so and, and and you know realizes that you know this guy is so handsome. If I get married to him I'm going to have boys who are handsome. I'm going to have girls who are beautiful. What if these boys and girls resemble you and not him? It turns out that these kids resemble you and not the person who you saw that was beautiful so some people come into your life because they have seen opportunity because they are so much parasitic they are not symbiotic they don't want to have a 50-50 share of this love they want to earn they want to gain you have to be very careful with such a people You have to be very careful with people who don't love you for you but they love you because of something else. You you have to be very careful with people who don't love you for you but they love you because they see something they can take from you. Maybe you are dating someone and this someone you are dating have their friends. and when they go to their hostels or their home or their groups they discuss you with their friends you are a woman you are dating a man and you go to your friends and you start you know speaking to your friends and telling your friends about your man and one of your girlfriends start chasing your man 
your man has to be very careful because he is not she is not coming she's not coming in good terms she's coming because she has heard about what you are doing to your girlfriend some women are going to come to you not because they love you but because they have heard about your news because they have heard the message that you love so hardly they have heard the message that you see this guy he's a honest guy he's so faithful to me he's been he with me for the last 5 years we are planning to get married right now and everything is geared up and you know I'm the one planning everything he's left me to do everything for this marriage and we are planning everything is on set that is the time the the daughter of Jezebel is going to come into your relationship and they will use all means possible to make sure they lure your man into their plate that man has to be very careful sometimes you are a woman and your boyfriend you know talks to his club mates and his members of the group and tells them that you know i've gotten a woman that has never i've never gotten in the last 10 years i've been dating but this is the only time that i'm dating a woman that i can trust that is the time the son of you know uh, 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 jezebel or, or solomon who loves women are going to come and face your woman and try so hard to lure that woman into their net that woman has to be very careful because this is a man who's coming not because he loves he's coming because he has seen an opportunity he's coming because he has seen something that he can take away it is not love it is not something that is going to last it is not something that is going to add something in your life but it's going to subtract you have to be very careful with some people You know some people you might be thinking that you're dating someone who's very loyal to you. Sometimes people tell me that yeah, my relationship, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my parents, my friends, my you know, my clubmates, my company, my manager, they are so loyal to me. Everyone is loyal. And I love working with him because he's loyal to me. I love working for my boss because my boss is loyal. Let me tell you something. Before you make sure before you realize that these people are loyal because they are human enough be careful and be sure they are not loyal because they are getting something from you they are seeing an opportunity they know that if they leave you to go nothing is going to happen you know when somebody when you're working for somebody and you talk about loyalty ask yourself why are they loyal to me why is my employer loyal to me why is my employee loyal to me why is my boyfriend loyal to me why is my girlfriend loyal to me sometimes the loyalty is because of something that they are getting from you sometimes the loyalty is because of what they fear the fear in them it is not because they are born loyal but they see a gun every time you come home and you cock your gun and you put it in front of your bed are they loyal to you because of that gun or they are loyal to you because they trust this relationship when you will remove the gun and you retake back the gun to the police station you have been you 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 retire and you get your gun or your job you lose your job and the police service tells you that you have to return the gun will they still be loyal to you